Cryosurgery is using very cold temperatures, the cryo or freezing, to remove or destroy abnormal tissue. It can be used in a couple di different circumstances for gynecologic patients. Um, it is a way of treating abnormal cells on the cervix. It's also a way of treating some small lesions like warts on the vulva or the external genital tissues. The process would be, first we'd have to have a diagnosis, so you go through the pap smear and the evaluation of that. Um, and then it's similar to doing a pap smear to do the cryotherapy or cryosurgery of the cervix, um, but there is a small probe that's used to touch the cervix, then you activate it and it causes the freezing to occur. It's usually done in a, two cycles uh, with a thaw in between. Generally, this will resolve any abnormal cells that are there. Afterwards, women can expect to have um, some funny watery discharge, but usually there's very little pain involved. Usually people feel just fine. They get up and go home and go on with their business. Um, and then the follow-up is just usually pap smears, and depending on what was treated, and this is generally reserved for more mild disorders, the follow-up is usually just a pap smear in a year. There's a small chance that they can recur, and that's why we continue to do monitoring with pap smears. Cryotherapy has fallen out of favor probably a good bit because other procedures, specifically the LEAP procedure, works better for moderate or severe disease and it also allows us to have a specimen to send to the pathologist so we can confirm exactly what we treated. Um, so it's both diagnostic and therapeutic, so it treats and gives you information where the cryotherapy just treats it and there is no specimen to evaluate.